Hi there, it's Shell. We are back. Oh, it was a day yesterday, guys. I tell you, we had to, you know, we went to town and did things that we needed to do there. And then, um, got home, took a nap, and then we had bad news. Mom's sister passed away. The one that she was in Kansas and she was going to go and try to see her <clears throat> and she never could get a hold of her sister and anyway she passed away and it just was not a good day yesterday One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. we're on day 10 of the secret journaling spot sorry I was counting <laughs> But yeah, so that came pretty unexpectedly. Um, Mom's been writing her letters and stuff and trying to get her to correspond with her over the mail. But Sis wouldn't write her back. And she was like that. She's a very stubborn lady. And yeah, it, it's a heartbreaking time right now. Uh, we didn't know her. I don't even know. Clint said he might have met her one time. And for the most part, she didn't want to be around family. I don't know. Anyways, I'm sorry, Mom. So, uh, so right now we're just trying to deal with that across state because I think she was in Kansas. And yeah, there's a lot going on. We're trying to, you know, you can't do any much today. You can't talk to the banks over there. They're not open on Saturday. And it's just just a mess so mom's been on the phone Clint's been on the phone helping mom and <clears throat> anyways good morning uh, so please just keep mom in your prayers she said the cats laid with her last night which is fairly unusual because um, I don't think she really leaves her door open necessarily but she kind of needed that last night I think and it was so sweet because Gracie which is the most perfect cat ever <laughs> was in there with her oh, so I did design another I haven't seen this one another uh, secret journaling spot for you guys and we'll see how that works out I had taken some stuff inside to, to try to do some stuff inside but I never got anything done so I had to load everything back up today and bring it back out here <laughs> so I'm like oh. oh you guys so yeah oh and uh, on the way to town I don't keep my cell phone on because we don't have good signal here way to town I found out that I missed a couple of doctor's appointments the doctor wants me to see a uh, do a stress test for my heart because I've been having some heart pain but I guess they ended up canceling because their treadmill was out or was broken down or something so it worked out okay but yeah I tell ya <laughs> but yeah so I need to have a heart stress test I guess is what she called it done and so let me know what that consists of because surely somebody out there has had one before these are ones that we've done so there is a playlist below and you can go and visit that playlist and see all the ones from this year and then I have one I think where I'm putting every single hidden journaling spot in so you can see them all or you can kind of um, if you just want to see this year you can just see this year so let's figure out what we're going to do. I am not going to, um, I don't think I'm going to worry about the blue one. Because I'm afraid this might take a while. <laughs> so we're just going to have faith that we are going to do it correctly, right? So, and maybe later I'll do the blue. Maybe I'll do like it real quick. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Now my thoughts all off because I haven't made a video in a while 
But yeah, lots of stress here. Uh, I feel so bad for mom because she sure loved her sister and she was cantankerous at times. But who isn't, you know? Okay, so first thing you're going to do, this is going to be a pocket. It's a secret pocket. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of get a feel for it, I think, with the blue. And then we'll continue on with the other. So just about whatever size pocket you would like. In fact, maybe even a little bit longer. We'll consider that here in a bit. But we do have propane, so it's nice and warm out here. And, uh, yeah. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so if we're doing a pocket, we would do it, what, five inches? So let me give you the measurements real quick, just so you can kind of, um, have an idea. I did five by about four. It's just over four. And I went ahead and folded it because I thought this is going to bulk it up for what we need. <clears throat> okay, and I brought out my glue instead of cleanse. I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. So you could, if you're saving paper, I think you could have, you know, like maybe do like an inch and then fold it over and maybe add more paper like something because I'm thinking about using this one but I would almost be wasting you know the designer paper uh, we will be going through some fabric so if you're looking for fabric and I think I'm going to do them in like sets of four so maybe like fat quarters ones that kind of um, correspond and set of four. I haven't decided how and I need to get the measurements for fat quarters and all that because I feel so overwhelmed especially with the fabric. So we're going to try to do that and they will be going sporadically into the um, into the store. So if you are looking for that then um, some different fabrics fairly cheap then head over there and check that out. It would help us during this time so anyways that is what is going on here let's see so I'm just kind of measuring this this is Tim Holtz ruler and I love this I'll link this below because it has a zero here and you can put it like exactly where you um, to layer it or whatever it's called let's call center it that is it, but yeah, it's, oh, stressful day, so we are trying to keep mom busy, <laughs> so I was thinking she could help out with the um, fabric, because I was looking, and man, do we have a lot of fabric, you know what, okay, so what I want to do is I want to cut a slit here, and we need it to kind of come be a little bit wider so and I suppose if I was doing this online or um, on an actual piece I might turn it over and do this on the back so that it looks really neat I think that's one reason that I doubled up on it okay so so we would cut that out. You can use scissors. You can use your X-Acto knife. And we'll move this up just a little bit. Not cut through that again. <laughs> I have cut through it before. But yeah, it's just so much going on here. But we really can't do anything today because everybody is closed. Even the guy at the funeral home said, he would not be there today because he was sick and dealing with illness in his family. So we can't even talk to them or anything. So, Mom has a large family. I think she has like five brothers and sisters. Maybe seven that are like stepbrothers and sisters. A bunch of them have passed. 
Okay. And none of them really were close to sis, so. Okay. So that's what we have, right? I do want the fold on the top. So that's what we need to do. And then what I want to do is I'm going to have a um, piece under here that we can like, and it kind of reminds me of something that Miss Gwendolyn did a few years ago. In fact, let me grab her book. I do have a large junk journal <laughs> stash myself. It's one reason I don't keep um, a bunch of uh, things. Hopefully there's no spiders or anything in here. I think I'm going to spray it down with, um, that could be a secret journaling spot. That's cute. Spray it down, spray the room down with some, um, what is it? Um, peppermint. I've heard that kind of helps. I'm just going to look through it real quick and find what I was thinking about. Hopefully I'll know it when I see it. Gwendolyn, don't you have that in here? <laughs> Pretty sure she does, but it could have been like on, maybe it's not like in the book. I just love this. I need to figure out a way to use it. So here's a secret journaling spot we could do for this time. Think. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know how to open that. Isn't that crazy? But wait, here it goes. Okay. So that's a cute spot. It's not the one I was thinking of, though. Oh, Gwenny, where is it? <laughs> and it might not be in this book. It might have been on a piece of ephemera that she sent me. I can't remember. Let's see. But if not, we'll we'll just recreate it and see. Aw. It's been a while since I I don't look through all of my books at the same time. But looking through other people's ephemera and stuff kind of helps you remember or get other ideas too for secret journaling spots. I really thought that she had it in here. At least it was in my mind that it was. It's warm in here, guys. That's nice, but it's almost too warm. I did do my exercise today and Mom said... You can tell you're slimming down. Then I measured and couldn't tell nothing. <laughs> it's actually a bummer to measure because it actually, I have Clint measure me and he says, oh, you're more than you were last time. <laughs> he doesn't say that. He tells me the number and then I'm like, oh, what a bummer. I know I had a butterfly on it. Gwendolyn, you'll have to re remind me if you, I really thought it was in this journal. Now I'm going to think, rack my brain trying to remember where it is. Hold on. Okay, well I don't see it in here. This is from my, my dear friend in, in uh, the UK in, where are you? Denmark? Netherlands? My brain just quit working. Anyways, okay, I don't know. Maybe she did this. Maybe it's someone else, but let me know. Okay, so this would be like a pocket. So let's go ahead and just do that. Everything else, but mainly that's what you're going to need to do to start with. And we're going to put like a... Um, eyelet in here so you don't want it to be too large even though I don't think it's really going to matter but you do want it to be far enough apart uh, for that eyelet or whatever you put in here to go up and down easily so I wouldn't glue this down this is going to be a pocket three sides so I wouldn't glue it down until you know you 
do all your testing and stuff. So anyways, let's just move on. Because I'm totally lost. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so let's talk this one out. So five inches. Oof, I gotta turn this down. But yeah, I did my exercise. And, uh, it's warm in here. So I'm going to do this by five inches. And then we'll score it like at four to fold over. So that we have a pretty, you know, a nice, there we go. So this will fold over and then that will be on the back. And we'll glue that down. But then I can use a different piece of paper on the back. To kind of bulk that up so maybe like this piece that would be fine I could do that but then that's going to give us a really pretty you know really pretty edge there oh. I don't know why I am not using my paper cutter for this because I am going to be so off me getting back in the groove, I guess. Oof, so warm. So warm today. It's like 18 outside. <laughs> uh, but I think my metabolism, because I am exercising every day, I think my metabolism maybe is working overtime. Either that or it's like, you know, Hot flashes. Who knows? Trim it just a little bit because I don't want that showing on the other side. Okay. And I'll show you how we're going to put this together. So yeah, that this is like the main component, I think. I would say it's the main component of this. Someone was asking where I got this, uh, this tip right here. It's made specifically for these bottles. I don't think they'll work with the um, actual art glitter glue bottles. In fact, I'm pretty sure they will not. I can't remember if I actually um, responded to her question. But if you see this, yeah, you have to buy the bottles separately. Mainly because I had to buy a new bottle because I ended up leaving it out here and it froze. My bottle did, and so I had to buy a new bottle. And I had like a gallon of um, dark glitter glue. And so I had um, just bought some new bottles for it. It was just cheaper that way. Instead of buying like more art glitter glue. You do not want that thing to freeze because then you're kind of out, out of luck. with You can't thaw out the art glitter glue. <laughs> At least I didn't have any luck with it. Okay. So, I'm going to turn this over like we talked about. This makes it more simple, I think, to um, just kind of cut it with an X-Acto knife. Where is mine? I put it up, didn't I? Okay. So, let's see. So, two and... That's about perfect there and I'm going to put it down here there and then maybe one up here let's see two and a quarter two and a half right there and then I know one of these were off. I thought a little bit, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. So I would say you want to leave at least like half an inch on the top and the bottom. Let's 
maybe make that just a little bit wider there. So you could use your um, cutter if you have one like mine. We just like slide it down and everything. But I do think the this is going to give me a better, straighter line if I can do that. And if you have a steady hand. Then we'll work on putting this together. Okay. Got that, I think. Think because it's tripled or whatever, it's not as easy. Okay, did I get it? I think I did. Sorry, guys, I've been rambling this morning. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys in a while. So, okay, so we have that. Hopefully I can do the two without being overboard too much. Okay, so here is a piece of cardstock. And I think I do want cardstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this down. And I want it to fit like in this pocket after it's glued down. So I'm going to say about like that. So I just kind of, um, like if I put it here, that kind of allows for like a quarter of an inch all the way around. So hopefully that will fit in. And if not, we can trim that side. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that down to size. <clears throat> so let's do it like this. just under five just because I know that's how tall that is actually I need to cut it under that too don't I because it's not under five okay so let's cut it about right there because once we have like glue on the bottom um, that would raise it up a little so this is going to go here so that's our secret journaling spot and then at the bottom, I'm going to cut it about half an inch uh, just to the um, fold right here. And hopefully that's what I need. And I'll show you why that because... Okay coming together I think <laughs> I know I know okay so because we're gonna have a piece here and that's gonna lift this piece from behind like this and then that's gonna stop like about right there actually I'll have to move it down further but then you can open this and journal and then it's gonna close back and but in order for it to do that, I'm going to probably have to trim that down a little bit more. I'll measure it on that thing. Because I have to have that like in that little slot. 
and it has to clear so you can actually open it, right? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Move it just a little bit. I don't think it's quite where I need it to be. up and so that needs to clear it so you have this little spot here we might have to even knock it down a little bit more but that's why we're kind of doing this okay so then I was thinking and I was talked this part through with Clint and I was thinking we could put like a butterfly or even you know something like this to slide up and I wanted to cover up the whole track so we could do like flowers or something if that's what we decide to do. But I wanted to look at the butterflies because that's what I had on my brain. Let's see what I have here. Okay. But flowers are a suggestion because what I want to do is I want it to like hide that so we could even do you know something like this where um, flowers are helping kind of kind of camouflaging that because I mean you could put like a honk honking big one couldn't you but you would still need something to help cover up this because I really want it to be a true secret journaling space so that I do like the yellow and the, um, purple. So let me look and see what other, um, things, flowers we have in here, because that is definitely an idea. Uh, see if there's any purple or anything that would kind of go. And then we'll kind of, I'll show you how to put it together. Ooh, here's a yellow. Oh, I love that. Okay, so say that goes there. Ooh. And then this little guy could be there. You know what? I like that. Let's see what we have. Scooch this stuff to the side. Actually, I'm going to put it back up. If I don't, it will still be there next week. Just kidding. All right. Okay. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to kind of figure out where we're going to position this to cover up that track. And then I think the best thing to do is to glue this little guy on top. So I do want to ink. We do have ink blenders in the store. We even have some of these, which are the... Um, forget what they're called pine or something I don't even know now my brain's not thinking <laughs> Clint said make sure because he had a couple of those made so they're available they kind of have a darker color to them they're in the store uh, the Ramblin crafter on Etsy the link is below but I just wanted to kind of cover up some of this and you could do all kinds of stuff with this. Let me show you. I was thinking you could put on some um, lace on it. How I would do that. <clears throat> so I would put that like here exactly where you would want it. And you could put lace, but just like put it underneath maybe the flowers. Sorry guys. There we go. Like under the flowers or under the butterfly and have like lace on the sides like it was definitely intended to be like that kind of even camouflage it more so let's see what I would do like we could put it like that you know make it look more like a camouflage piece let's do that because why not 
Okay, so I would put this here because I want it to totally cover up that area. And then let's see this piece here. And hopefully this works out the way I'm expecting it to. <laughs> If not, you guys are here for the for the ride. It's nice today in here. I did turn the heat up just a touch when I came in. And I had my floor one on, my feet one. And I got warm. Okay, so that would be like that. That's kind of crooked. Right, okay. Okay. And then this would like sit here. Like maybe like that. And it kind of looks like it's a collage on a pocket. That was my intent. So let's put this guy kind of here. Kind of maybe centered. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work out the way I'm, I'm envisioning it. <laughs> Watch it not. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac on it. I did put a little bit of finger polish remover in here. Kind of thin it out just a touch. drops of finger polish remover in your um, Fabri-Tac and it thins it. Okay, so and then we would, my idea is to just put a like an eyelet in here. Where's my little eyelets? Here they are. I thought I had Here, but there's also a little duber that. Let's see, Ooh, here's a yellow one. Purple? No, let's go with yellow. <laughs> Open the right one. Oh, you guys. Brother, it looks like he's going to have his um, gallbladder removed in February. So I guess is what he was telling me. So we could, I was thinking we could put it just straight down. That would at least ensure that it doesn't um, go anywhere, huh? And you would want it to be pretty much as far to the edge as you could get it. So, well, I would probably do it here. So, and then that would slide up. Is that even going to work? <laughs> You're not going to be able to open it, are you? What if we had it from the top kind of folding down and then you could just pop it open? Okay, let's rethink this. So if we had it like this, <clears throat> that's why we try things out. Okay, or we could have it from the back too. It doesn't have to be from the front. So let's see, I'm just kind of finagling. I have to fine tune it here in a minute. Okay, so this would be like here. And this little guy would be like here. So you could slide this open journal and then slide it back. 
and then this whole piece would slide back down. Look how perfect it slid down. <laughs> so it would be like that and cover that. What do you think? I think it could work. So I would need my um, like eyelet right there. So let me get this. I'm going to try this and see what we can do here. I want it to be on the butterfly um, because I want it to um, have that stability and not tear, you know. So, and then this piece, I think I'm going to have to cut it down. Because, I mean, we would put like, like it wherever we needed to another hole I think because it would have to go through that hole is this too complicated <laughs> Michelle that's so complicated okay well let me trim this down because that is going to be too big to go under there so so I told Clint I don't like having to carry stuff in and out, you know, constantly because uh, I kind of have things in an order out here and then I have to carry things in and move things all the time. So it's a big bummer. Okay, so can I do this? <laughs> so it would be like that. Probably like right there just kind of eyeballing it and seeing where my little circle is. It's probably about right. But if I put it there, okay, so that would be have to trim that off a little bit more. See, and it might not even be worth it. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think if it's something you would want to to do. So, let, where's the eyelet? Oh, jeez. I lost it. <laughs> there it is. It's not an eyelet. It's a brad. Okay, so we're going to put this brad through here. And it would go through here, right? like that. Okay. And then this piece essentially would be like right there. So I did a little punch on it. I might need two bread. I don't know though. I don't want it like swiveling on me. Okay. Like I don't want this thing swiveling. So I might have to do two. I don't know. I have to think about, think it through. Because, oops. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I can talk you through the next one a lot easier than that one. Okay. So let's So I would definitely need to cut that down some more, wouldn't I? Or no, I wouldn't. That's that part. Okay. So that is just about right actually. And then this is how it should work. You're just going to slide it up. Okay, don't hold on to that. That, and then that's how it should work. And then you'll slide it down. What do you think? Is that going to work? I think it might. Oh, I need to probably trim it a little bit more so that it can go into the... I think we might have it. <laughs> you guys, I'm such a mess today. Okay, let me see. Do I have paper that we can glue it down to? So, let's 
that one page that, um, the one sparrow or whatever. Is this it? Nope. What is that? That's pretty. Oh, geez, guys, I have such a mess here. <coughs> um, let me grab another piece that I could use in the journal. Because none of these are here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this paper. I think it would work really pretty in our... <laughs> what a mess. What a mess, guys. Really pretty in the journal. So I'm going to use it. So 8.5 by 11. This would be the 8.5. Okay, let's try this and see what we can do. See, that's what I'm going to be concerned about is, that, is it going to kind of do that all the time? Do I need to put like another one up here higher? I don't know. Or I could even, well, I have to think about this because now these are going to be too tight. Let me show you. Okay, I think there was a direction on this. Okay. This might be, I might fold it the other way. So this would be here, it would be down. Or is that something that, you know, whoever gets this journal would, um, it might be okay. Just kind of finagle. You don't want to put anything else up here because you, it needs to clear the pocket, you know. Okay, let me trim this because that's too... I could take it all apart, but I don't want to, to trim it. Because we're going to have to put glue there, so that's not going to work, is it? Okay. Okay. Wish me luck. I don't know, guys. I could actually... I was thinking I could actually put, like, another one down here. Like, under it, maybe, to keep it from zigzagging or whatever. I'm going to do that just... Because I hate not to um, do it now, and you know, instead of later. So it'll be kind of like the body of the butterfly. There we go. Does that make sense? And then hopefully it'll keep it kind of the flower and stuff from shifting. And you could cover this with rhinestones or something. It doesn't have to be um, these, you know. There. And hopefully, see, that's going to kind of keep it more in place, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so let's glue it down. That's one reason I had to cut it down, because... And hopefully this works, because if not, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, it didn't work. That's why I try to do it with the blue. But I knew this one was going to take a while. And I just wanted to um, be able to finish the two. So hopefully we can get the two done. And hopefully I have enough room on the bottom of this thing. Because the whole thing needs to be put together first, right? And then you would pull this up. And then you could slide that. I don't know. I might need to trim that too. Slide that open. I'm still thinking. And then, you know, push it back down. 
I'm going to trim that too because it doesn't feel, it feels like it's way too long or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just an idea that came to me. Sometimes some of my best ones are when I'm taking a nap. It's watching a homesteader group and she's like, every afternoon I take a nap and I'm like, good for you. she needs to for her um, energy level I understand okay so then this would like fold back under there I was thinking too we could do like that um, one like Melinda did and we could do like a um, accordion fold in here with like um, coffee dye paper or something then you could pull it out and then you could journal inside of it so anyways, we'll have to think about that. You guys let me know what your thoughts on that is. Okay, and then this should pull back down. Right, let's see. How come you're not pulling down? <laughs> Why aren't you pulling it down? What's wrong? Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Is it too tight? Okay, my brad was too tight. Okay, there we go. So you don't want those to be too tight. So anyways, that is my my idea on that one. I ripped the paper when I was trying to get it to go down. So what do you think? Is that something you guys would do? I think it's a fun idea. Kind of help it help it out. And then I was thinking, like, somebody had mentioned, if you were to put a tag or something in this pocket, it wouldn't matter that much, right? So, let's see. There we go. So, you just have to know what's there and kind of finagle it. I think after we do it a few times, it'll kind of work itself out. But I think it's a cute idea. I really like that. Then you can put a tag, and no one's really going to know that, hey, there's a secret journaling spot there, you know. <laughs> so what do you think? Shall we try another one? I know it's really a pain, in it? It does take some finagling. But let's try and see if we figured anything out by doing that. <clears throat> okay, so is this? That's not eight and a half. So let's just cut this down into our pocket. I really like this part right here. So um, six, no, five by five by five because five across and then this is going to fold down at four. Okay, see if we can, see if we got it figured out or not. Well, this piece kind of, that would be large enough, I think, to kind of, kind of do that. Let me turn on my heater. Okay. Ooh, got a little bit chilly in here. That's what happens when you're doing stuff you're like oh I don't notice it and then you quit stressing about things and okay put 
that all the way down, I think, because we do have that one little inch. But that does finish it nicely, and I really like doing that part. Just make sure it's glued down really well. If you were going to do a lot of these, I think you could make like a template of where to cut the track out. And you could even make it like wider. That might have helped that issue. Okay, where's my Tim Holtz ruler? It's right in front of me, isn't it? <laughs> Here it is. I knew it was I knew you were there. <clears throat> oh you guys. It's been one of those days, I tell ya. Okay. So again we're gonna kind of figure out the center. And the bottom center. Probably don't want to go down that far. Let's do it like this. And then I was telling my best friend about mom. And they're down in Prescott. Because his, uh, Steve is his name, and his dad passed away. Um, this week also. So yeah, it's just been, which I didn't know, I hadn't, she hadn't told me, so. But he, he was elderly. I mean, mom's sister is too, I think she was like 85 or older. But you just, you just never know. Thinking, I'm going to try to do this. So if you have a thing like this, you can do it. I just don't want it to <laughs> go too far in that three. And then just slide it a little bit. You're not really going to see that track, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But, I mean, you want it to look nice anyways, right? But it slid, and so it's not perfectly lined up. That's why I was saying if you use your um, X-Acto knife, you can do it better. Perhaps do a better job. There we go. I think that's okay if it's a little bit bigger. So, and then we would just need our paper. Let's fold it. So I'm thinking probably want it here because of that and then the one side and then that would be the other side. <clears throat> they did close our road. We are supposed to get more snow, I think, tomorrow. Um, I don't think it's going to amount too much, but you just don't know. Okay, so like that, right? Looks pretty good in there. I'm going to trim it just a little bit more on the sides and so it can move freer once it's glued down so it's not like super tight. No, I can hear you guys now. <laughs> Michelle, what in the world are you thinking, woman? <laughs> don't ask me, because I don't know. Okay. So, say we have like an eyelet here, and a, or what's it called? A brad here. So, at least two, two by two, pretty close together. So, I think that will work. 
Let's see what we have. We have this one. This one is really sturdy. It's actually really pretty, isn't it? I wonder if I could even put an eyelet through there. Probably not, because that is really thick. Okay. Let's see what we have. We have this one. Mm. Not really. Maybe another yellow. That's kind of pretty. And I love that it has like dogwood or whatever on it. And let me see what flowers I have out here. Doesn't really matter, does it? It could be like that. I need to just throw all that on the floor. I'm kidding. Okay, hold on. I see a rose, which is so pretty. I like the red. It's really pretty. Too, but if we did it something like this, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, let's ink it because I have ink. I don't know what my time is like. Sorry if this one's super long. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way it works out. Uh, but now you see really why I didn't want to do um, the blue one because it was uh, I knew it would take a while for these okay okay so that goes like that this one goes like that that together. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac, I think. Like I said, you could put the lace if you wanted to. I don't think it's necessary. And later, if you wanted to, you could like tuck it some underneath it or whatever. So this, I want it to kind of lay straight. So my issue is, do we want to turn it a little? We could do that too. You know, I don't want it to move over long term, so. Oh, that's so much nicer. You guys have to let me know what you think of this one. I know it's pretty complica complex. <laughs> okay. But my thought is, if I put two on here, let's see what this looks like. Okay, there's the two eyelets. You know, is there a reason to put two? I guess is my thought. I'm just worried, you know, that it's going to shift like that. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Okay, so that is going to go like right here. Can I flip it? If I center that like here, and then punch holes like that, is that gonna work? Oh. Okay, we're gonna try it. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think it's shifted though. Okay. Okay. I guess if the flowers are um, 
glued down to this butterfly that would at least hold them in place and then this would go all the way up like so so that would be about right there I think it'll be okay so would that be easier let me know what you think I'm gonna flip it the other way okay here we go. We're going to put it together. Wish me luck. Okay, let's do the yellow again. Is that it? I did link this little guy below. I've had this thing for years, but I did find one online. Man, I got one. So, yeah. Don't worry guys, if this is too complex, we're going to do something easier in tomorrow's video. Because <laughs> I am trying to do fairly simple ones every other day. Especially if I have like a really hard one. Really complex one. Hi BB, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Uh, come out to look at that. Look at look what? Look for that. And then, uh, just been sanding. I don't want to do that too tight, so. Oh, God. Like I did last time. You're going to look for what? Uh, oh, that fabric? Uh, yeah, or the embroidery, whatever you call that stuff. Oh, yeah, that. So. Okay, so there we go. Right. Bye, guys. And Clint. How's Mom doing? She's, uh, okay, she's cleaning her, uh, like picking up trash. And oh, good. Her bedroom cleaning up. Good for her. Of course, she's got help. Of course. The cats love to help Grandma. So that's one thing you definitely don't want to, uh, to, uh, have it too tight. That made, that made a huge difference. Okay. Let me find. How's it going? Well, I want to tell you the truth, I wasn't sure, but I think I'm getting you the hang of it. it yeah, that's why I do so many of these, because of that. Ooh, I really like that. Wow. It's warm in here, isn't it? No. It's warm to me. Okay, so... Well, that's good that she has some help, and she's yeah. And then Lucy, she's keeping busy. She's walking around, and I asked her what she wanted because she's talking to me. <laughs> I said, "Well, tell, tell me what, take me where you want to go." And I thought she was going in the bathroom and wanting a few treats, treats or something, but she got there and turned, turned, and then went into Grandma's room. So and I asked her why she wanted me to come in here. <laughs> you know how that goes. Yeah doesn't really work that well. Okay, so there is our one. One thing is I have a, um, it's not totally covered there, so we need to kind of figure that part out. So, let's see what we're going to do. How's the weather? Uh, colder than a well digger's wallet. Is it? I think it is. I mean, is it windy? Uh, I didn't think it was. Uh oh, guys. Me, but I was too that busy. That is too long, isn't it? Watching where I was walking, so I didn't fall. Yeah, I did too, yeah. Okay, I'm going to trim that because I don't want to glue that down, do we? Ooh, perfect. <sighs> Okay, let's try that. Didn't think about that part. Did you find something else? I don't know. No, I haven't found anything like that. Okay. Okay, guys. Wish me luck. I think we got this one. I think it's a lot um, easier and better than the other one. So I will have to put something up there just to kind of cover that up. Again, you can put a little piece of lace. See that it's going to shift. That's what I was trying to prevent, huh? 
but you know I don't mind fixing that as I'm like flipping through my journal or whatever and then this hopefully will just slide right up right there we go we can help it out if we need to Isn't that cute though? What do you think? Is that something you guys would want to do? Pretty sure Gwendolyn did something like this, but I can tell you, I sure couldn't find that. Let's see, I was thinking maybe we could like cut off a piece of this and kind of tuck it under. Up the bread. You know, just to kind of spread it out like that maybe. Whew. You got the bread yeah, done? Yeah, I got it rising and I also made another bigger. Oh cool. And, uh, oh you made more bigger? Yeah, I got the ink blender done and it's on the thing. That one turned out really pretty. Oh cool. Yeah, I started sanding the other one. So we're gonna do it like that. And hopefully nothing like spread out the glue. That would not be good, would it? So anyways, guys, I am going to say goodbye. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I would probably use this once in a while. It was kind of tough figuring it all out, but I really like it. Which one do you prefer? I don't know. I like this one. I really uh, like yeah. yellow and uh, purple together. Yeah, that one goes really nice. Isn't that pretty? I see it just slides up like that. Huh? Oh, that was the one, huh? Yeah, and then this, you can... So do you use the butterfly as your slide, or...? Yeah, it's both. I glued the flower to the butterfly. Oh, cool. So, and I hope I put these so that maybe it wouldn't, like, shift. It's yeah. shifting a little bit, but then you can journal, put it back under and slide it back down. That is pretty darn cool. Slide. I mean, it's really cool. It's just, it's hard work. <laughs> I bet. But, well, then, was it very complicated or was it fairly, once you figured it out? Once I it figured out, it out, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. I don't think. Do you guys think so? Let me know what you think. Anyways, guys, we will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you for visiting. Cut things.